Hello everyone. Let's solve this um, Olympiad mathematics. We are having square root of x over 2, then square root of x over 2 equal to 8. Now, this is what we want to solve. And um, I want to break this down. Remember, x over 2 is under this um, bigger square root. So I'm going to have square root of x over 2. Sorry, x over 2 raised to the power of 1 over 2. Remember, this is the same thing as the square root of x over 2. Then I am multiplying this by x over 2 again x over 2, but remember that this second x over 2 is under 2 square root sign, and it will be 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 2. Since any number raised to the power of um, 1 over 2 is the square root of the number, so this is equal to 8. Then what do I do from here? Let's work on this on the left hand side. So we have x over 2 to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by x over 2 to the power of 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 will give 1 over 4. And this is equal to 8. Now I'm going to take another step. Remember we're having the same base, x over 2, x over 2. And from this law of indices, x to the power of m times x to the power of n will have x to the power of m plus n. So I'm going to apply the same principle to this. I'll pick one of the bases, x over 2, and then this will be raised to the power of 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4. Remember, this is still equal to 8. But then, if I have 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2, Okay, let me deal with the power separately. Okay, for the power, I have 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2. Now, the sorry, this is 1 over 4. The LCM of this is 4. And then 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 1 is 2. Plus 4 by 4 is 1 times 1 is 1. And at the end of the day, I'll have 3 over 4 as the power. So this means I'm having x over 2 to the power of 3 over 4 is equal to 8. Yes. So that from here, I can remove this power from here by multiplying the power by its reciprocal. Remember, reciprocal of 3 over 4 is 4 over 3. So I'm going to have x over 2 to the power of... Um, 3 over 4. Then I'll multiply this by the reciprocal, which is 4 over 3. And then this is equal to 8. Then the reciprocal on the left will reflect on the right hand side. So I'm going to have 4 over 3 as the power of 8. And then from here, 4 can cancel itself and 3 can cancel itself. I'm having x over 2. And x over 2 here is now equal to 8 to the power of um, 4 over 3. And this is the same thing as the cube root, the cube root of 8, everything to the power of 4. Okay, so from here now, we have x over 2 equal to the cube root of 8. The cube root of 8 is 2, then I have to the power of 4. This is because 2 in 3 places will give us 8, right? And then this means I have x over 2 to be equal to 2 to the power of 4 and it's 16. And then from here, this is over 1, we can cross multiply. x times 1 is x and this is equal to 2 times 16, meaning that the value of x is equal to 16, um, 32 rather, is equal to 32, which is 16 times 2. 
But then, are we correct in this working? Okay, so let's try to check. The original equation is square root of x over 2. And then I have square root of x over 2 on the inside equal to 8. Now, our x is 32, so that means I'm having square root. Okay. Now, in place of x, I'm going to write um, 32 now. So I have um, 32 over 2. Then I'll have 32 over 2 again. Now, will this give me 8? Let's work it. In, 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 the, in the square root, 32 divided by 2 will give us 16. And then I have another square root. 32 divided by 2 will give me another 16. Now, take a step. Okay, so now the square root of 16 here. Okay, let me start from the last 16. So... I will have 16 multiplied by square root of 16 is 4. Okay, square root of 16 is 4. And then the next thing I'm going to do is this. Multiply 4 and 16. So if I do that, I will have square root of 64. And then the square root of 64 is equal to 8. And this is what is given to us in the equation. So therefore, we are correct to say that x is equal to 32. Thank you for watching.